Sport now and the starting gun is about to signal the beginning of the biggest ever Pacific Games in its 60-year history. Frantic last-minute preparations are underway in the Solomons Island capital, Honiara, as 5,000 athletes and officials from 24 nations and territories gather for the opening ceremony on Sunday night. A traditional welcome for the Pacific family. Thousands of athletes, the best of Oceania, have started arriving in Solomon Islands for the 17th Pacific Games. The face of the Games, Solomon's superstar weightlifter Jen Lee Winnie, their first and only athlete to ever win a Commonwealth Games medal. It will be a history game for Solomon Island and for myself to compete for in front of the home crowd, it's a big thing for me. She's almost certain to win gold in what could be her last games. This is the largest event Solomon Islands has ever hosted. Hello, Prime Minister, how are you? Are you Good. excited about the games? Good, yes, yes, yes. A number of records are set to be broken here. It's expected to be the largest games by participants ever held. It's a first for the Solomon Islands to host the games and this magnificent new 10,000 seater stadium is the biggest building in the Solomon Islands, a source of national pride in what's one of the world's poorest nations. 60 years ago, with colonisation coming to an end, Fiji held the first Games to bring the vast Pacific region together through sport without distinction of race, religion or politics. Today, 24 nations and territories take part, including Australia since 2015. Here, football is the national sport and in the back streets of Honiara, the excitement is building. A last minute clean up is underway to put Honiara's best face on show for visitors. I'm happy because uh, everyone in the Pacific come together. Over two weeks, athletes will compete in 24 sports, some offering direct qualification to the 2024 Paris Olympics. But there have been challenges, allegations of corruption and questions of how Solomons can afford it. This former Attorney General and prominent lawyer wants an inquiry. So it's not just looking at the, the money that was spent on the, on, on the games, but look at what benefits does the country derive from hosting these kind of games. The government has called on people to be positive and think of the legacy. Since that the games are here, we have good facility, world-class facilities that the athletes never had before. For the next two weeks, the host nation celebrates this huge gathering of the Pacific family and its greatest athletes. <laughs> Stefan Armbruster, SBS World News. That report was supported by the Walkley Foundation's Sean Dorney Grant. And you can watch the games live and free on SBS Viceland and SBS On Demand from the 19th of November to December the 2nd.